Bro. Okay. Uh, too much podcast. Episode thirty. We pulling up. We right here. Joining on the vape. No, no cussing, bro. No cussing. No cussing. Here. Hey, this is not one of them nicotine vapes that oh, yeah, you no. addicts be hitting. It's just shaped like this. This is all THC. Yeah. Y'all gonna think I'm one of them, bro? Y'all got problems. That part. I'll be seeing y'all, bro. The way y'all smoke looks stressful. Y'all shouldn't look the y'all shouldn't look as stressful as y'all look smoking them Where's vapes, bro. Where's my vape at? Right. Okay. Bro, you know how much videos I see the people getting arrested? They be like, Can I just hit my vape real quick before <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, he hit my vape? That's what you thinking about. That's crazy. I don't know how people get addicted to that, bro. I done hit a few of them things, but like it's nothing that I would have a urge to smoke. Bruh. That shit. You ever seen first 48? That's how when you know they finna snitch, they be like, they lean back, they be like, can I get a cigarette? They're like, you know, like, <laughs> maybe. The cops be like, you know, we're not supposed to let you smoke in here. Right? It's all good. We don't, we don't allow it. Offer them some food, maybe. Or they, be, or they be taking them to smoke a cigarette in the back. And while they be in the back smoking a cigarette, they just be saying everything. Say, bruh. Cause they, I don't know, that they just outside and they think that's different than being inside. And they get a cigarette break away from snitching. <laughs> he is cigarette break away from snitching. That's crazy. A McDonald's bag away. That's how I seen before. I seen this one time when we got, Damn. Uh, we were all together and then oh, yeah, got I caught. Got this bitch was literally in the, the car. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, we good. We, we good. straight. Good. Yeah, we somebody dropped that. the N word earlier too. It's good. I'm about to keep a doc for y'all. Hold on. Yeah, she she was in a car just eating. She was in a car just eating literally fucking french fries and a burger, drinking a sh- fucking soda. That shit was mainly, bro. That what, just telling up. everything? Well, like, we we got caught out of nowhere, right? Like, I don't It was like an ambush type uh, shit. But, like, this bitch was in the car yeah, eating just... fucking burger. It's, but I'm cussing. Uh, we might need to start this. We good. No, nah, we, we good. We good. We good. Oh, she was just in the car eating a burger the whole time. <laughs> Get fries and everything, bro. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, that one wasn't right. I got away from that one. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I just can't control myself, man. <laughs> hey, we out here. We out here. This man. Uh, no one Ian. <laughs> Let's talk about Ian. We talking about Ian? Why? Why, why the heck? Why the you want to start voice on like Ian? That? I know, but like, why the voice like that? Wait, well, like what? Why did kick my bum when O'Brien Jeff piss you off, bro? That did not piss me off, bro. But that's yeah. not a bar. Yes, it is, that's not bro. A bar, yeah. bro. That is very on the surface. I, I, I'm sure he has, but I hope he has better bars than that. That's. I'm just praying I make it till Friday. Uh, he gonna make it till Friday. Hey. He got a lot of ops, bro. You never know. No, he doesn't. You never know how it go. But he is. So Ian is um Ian is Atlanta season four episode two in real life. <laughs> so uh we're starting here because Steve's asked me if I know Ian, if I knew about him, if I was in the loop. I am in the loop. I sometimes I think you don't feel like I'm in the loop, bro. I I, I be peeping, bro. I, I be seeing shit, bro. You're not in the loop, bro. You're not in the California loop. I'm not in the California loop, bro. I'm not. That's the loop you need to get in. Yeah. No, it's not because I mean it is, but it isn't. I feel like I'm not in it because I know what it is. Yeah. I feel like you was in it before. Yeah, I've been like in it. It's kind of 2017, 2018. Yeah. That shit just that should be end of just making me. That for my people, man. But I feel like you got you be thinking Thizzler type shit. No, not Thizzler, not even that. Like, okay, are we talking about rapping or like just rapping? Rapping. Like okay, I ain't gonna like lie. Yeah, I'm not in tune with the rap. Yeah, yeah I'm I, not in tune with the Thizzler rappers that much either. I ain't been. I in, do know there's. I, I ain't been in tune with no California shit in a minute, bro. I'm trying to think. I just feel like NorCal not popping like SoCal, bro. Like, yeah. but they are at the same time because they got J Bo, and. They got J Bo. That's I mean, I don't want to discredit there is other niggas, but like I'm talking about like the big hitters, you know. Yeah. And like the, you see them difference in them you The Mexican viewers. rappers popping off down south though, man. I know they are up here too, mm-hmm. like uh Lazy Boy, uh 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 Acito. I know they popping off too, but like bro, they popping off down south. It's like a lot of them. Yeah, it's like a lot, like bro, Peso, uh 
what's the gunplay with that? I don't know what that was, bro. What was that, bro? Is it over? Is that run over? Uh, you're he good, bro. He had good songs, bro. Yeah. You're never over in this era, bro. I, he got, I think he he a no jumper interview away from getting a buzz back, bro. Go up on no jumper, yeah. talk some shit, say some shit, drop a video, be right back, bro. That's that's the game right now. Shit's kind of fucked up. Oh damn! It's kind of messed up. Kind of messed up. Kind of messed up. Hey, but yeah. All right, we are talking about Ian. We're talking about Ian. Yeah, my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh. Hey, hold on. Nah, keep going. We, we we good. I was just gonna praise J Bo some more, but we good. We gonna do that. I'm gonna do that later. Oh yeah. I'm gonna spread the J Bo love. Well, what do you feel about Ian? I feel like Ian. I feel like Ian is gonna open the door for white rappers to come back in the game. Like you remember when it was Macklemore and. Little Dicky and and, yeah, and a whole bunch of like white people just came out of nowhere. Uh, somebody who opened that door. Somebody opened that door for them to come in. Might have been Macklemore. The doors never closed. MGK. Yes, it did, bro. When's the last time we had a white rapper come in? When's the last Not one? MGK ago. was like the last one that was mainstream, right? What's well, that? Mac Miller, Miller, MGK. No, there's like a whole bunch of. Uh, I guess he doesn't consider himself white, but whatever. What's that dude's Ooh. name? Logic. Yeah, that's that's old. He old even rabbits. It's like yeah. fucking okay. Well, this is not he saying post, open post MGK though, ain't he? Nah, he might be before MGK. But Logic he's been rapping for a long time. Yeah, Logic's been rapping for a long. Uh, time. They might be around the same time. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah around MGK the same time. Like I remember a, MGK on right. ciphers, like back when ciphers were still a thing. Opening the door, but like I don't think opening the. I think bro, you think we're gonna see more white rappers. I think yes. that's the thing. I feel like it's too gimmicky for us. To like, if uh, if another white rapper comes out with this uh, with this style, they're just gonna say that they copied Ian. Mm-hmm. I just don't. I don't know, bro. Let me say why. It'll. Oh yeah, go ahead. Because my fault. My fault. No, you good. Oh, I you was just. Like I was gonna say, just it opens up for like white rappers to potentially do the Atlanta season four episode two thing, which is like a really funny bit and something that like you hoped for hip hop was never actually gonna happen, but damn near could just happen like that thing. But not for like, I don't know. Like it's always been room for a white dude to come in, whether authentically, semi authentically, or somewhere in between, and like kind of get their shit going. That's like, not if true, they want to like work the True. system and get like yeah the thing that this dude seems to be doing which feels like the next step beyond like a little dick because even little dicky i feel like there's a level of authenticity to how he presents himself at least exactly and you I have to like, be like but yeah no i guess this feels like the next level where like i don't see any often i haven't seen enough but it doesn't seem like there's much authenticity here it feels like somebody's making a play it's like, like a preset a place like a a preset play. rapper to me like what's the yeah. difference between that and all these other fake rappers Oh, I'm not. I mean, that's what a lot of people a lot. do. Uh, well, 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 who but, are you calling fake yeah, rappers? Yeah, who yeah, are you calling fake rappers? I'm not finna say, I'm not finna start naming names, but a lot of you saying, are we saying that all these rappers are living what they're talking about? No, I don't think. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Or a lot of rappers talking aren't talking about. The majority, the, like, yeah. Somebody who's coming outside of the culture, coming into the culture just to make some, like to make make a make a play, like make some money, get in, get out, get some pockets. Is that not what Drake did? Yeah, and that's why everybody feels the yeah, way that I they mean, feel about the right in the world. I mean, you could argue that this entire summer has been reckoning with how that might be kind of fucked up, or at least that's what Kendrick's telling us. But there's still so much people in the world that just don't agree with that. He's still the number one stream artist, and we can all agree that's damn near what he did. He literally makes accents yeah. of different people. Yeah, like, he's no, not I feel like it. I don't like, see that as a there's yeah. so much other people doing this type of stuff, and I don't understand why we gotta hate on him more because he white. I mean, I understand oh, because he's going to have, he's gonna have, he's gonna have, doing he's gonna have more success because exactly. I think that's the it, main thing. It's like you can have a lot of people doing this. Just, yeah. Nobody's going to mm. get on the way this dude's got on in like a month, like going from never hurting to this dude to arguing with like somebody like Tyler. And like that doesn't happen to some random who's doing this. That's not some white dude with a lot of money behind it, you know? Yeah. Because there is a Mexican and a black person, like I was saying before the pod, there's a Mex- there's a Mexican rapper and a black rapper who can who literally probably sound exactly like this, who just don't have the financial backup to do what he's doing. That's my whole thing with him. Is like there's a whole like you can look up what his parents do. Like that shit. Like they fund like his music career is very like is Swift is greatly rap. funded. Yeah, it's like it's funded, and that's like unfortunately that's just what music is. Like it's like having the money to promote yourself 
is a big part of it, like outside of the talent. Like he's that's like he's not bad, but it's like I know that there's so much people better who can do exactly what he's doing, but they just don't have the platform because it takes money to have a platform. And if you have a lot of money, it's really easy to get a buzz, especially if you are a white rapper doing something that's just a little bit off, something that something that people aren't expecting you to do. Like, yeah, that's facts. Yeah, if he, you think he's as big if he like raps like him, like a lyrical miracle rapper like him and like oh, he's not as big. That's what pop. That's not what people like right now. It just the reason why I fuck with it because it's like white people cannot really rapping like this because they feel like they're not allowed to rap like this. But then a white boy rap like this and he's blowing up. And it's just now we go hear some more white boys rapping like this. Like, hey, you never know. Maybe some of them really is going to I feel like they're, I feel like we're not thinking about I everybody. Like I think mostly what I see. I feel like I, if you go on Twitter, this is what every white rapper is trying to do. They just the broke white people, bro. They ain't got them funding. He, he, but there is James, like, bro. we, there, there's, I'm, I feel like we're forgetting about some white rappers, but like, he's not the first one to come in, like, and I don't know. I see another Post Malone type thing, bro. Just uh, he a rapper though. You not like that, bro. He a Post Malone baby, was a rapper, but not really. For that time, at that time, that White Iverson song, that, that sound. White Iverson is like that's not real rap. That's, that's like, neither is what, what you, you think. What Ian doing is we just play with the guys. real rap. That's how I thought Lil Baby rap. No, it's oh god, I don't play about nothing once. First thing in the morning, playing. And then, but I don't know, but so I don't know. It sounds like a soulless little baby, like it doesn't like have. But like he's trying to sound like him for stuff. Yeah, he's trying to do. He's trying to sound like little baby. But I'm not saying he's like this hella good rapper. I don't think he's like great or anything. But I'm just saying, like at least they got somebody. They got somebody now, right? Because like, who did they have before they had NGK? And Eminem kicked him off because Eminem don't like other white rappers. I think it opens that's where the disconnect is because like I just I don't know I've always thought like if you're a white rapper and you like authentic to the hip hop shit there's always been a place for you in it like I don't know like you talk to actually mm -hmm. Johnson ASAP Rock like I don't know there's always room for you like in the space even a little dicky like I don't know like when is when's there not a space for one of them I feel like it kind of constantly grows I just feel like they feel boxed in maybe a little bit right because yeah. then they got it they they just got they kind of boxed in right on their rapping style. Uh, they have been. Uh, I mean, they've been they've been like scared to rap like. I just think that they don't want to. I don't think. Like rap like each other. I think what Ian raps, this is just his time. Like this is like the time he the music that he probably grew up listening to. Like yeah, he's gonna try to replicate that shit just like a, like a um, like a MGK might have sounded like an early Eminem just yeah, like that's nice. like just but yeah I think it opens the door for more white rappers with rich parents to just say hey let's hit this lick real quick and boom and I don't know if that's really a good thing or a bad thing but hey and it's always going to be industry plans that's the thing too it's not really even about race because like we know there's black industry plans too it's just a little nice it. it's just hard to know it's hard for me to enjoy somebody's music no one it's I don't know, bro. It's more artists for me that I could be supporting. That's how I feel when I listen to somebody like Ian. It's like I could be supporting somebody who's way better than this, who actually needs the support. Yeah, like when I see Mexican OT, I get so juiced, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we really got somebody who's like kind of famous right now. He went on Joe Rogan. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, so that's that. why I hold I hundred percent get. Like, I get it much more if we're trying to frame it, like from another culture or another group of people it's just white people have never lacked access to this thing whenever they want to do hip-hop they can do hip-hop they can yeah that's yeah. hip-hop you know it's like and i yeah. totally get it like, i get it from like a latino person even from an asian person even though that dynamic is kind of be interesting at times like i get it from those places like a lot more than like yeah you can go back to the 80s and every pop singer had a 12 bar rap in the middle of their song you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. we've been doing it or for like let it rock with like i don't know there's always ways to yeah. enter into that space for white folks you know there was a rapper named milk bone in the 90s who's pretty nice yeah white people have been around for a minute mm -hmm. just they they get this bad rap like vanilla what's his name vanilla ice vanilla vanilla, vanilla ice like bro, they just started off with a bad with a bad with a bad look 
Well, how do you feel? I, I see. I think that they got rappers like I think MGK and Eminem are super raw. I think like Mac Miller. Oh, wow. Mac yeah. Miller was one of my favorite rappers listening to when I was growing up. Like they was like, real that's... vanilla ice is up, bro. Like I mean, he might like he might be like the center of a joke now, but like or even back then, but like was bro, he was. Up and then it's like I don't know, bro. It's but like, he was up the same way that Whip Nene was up, like nah, like like people like real Whip niggas Nene. was not listening to Vanilla Ice, bro. I know, no, the real niggas wasn't listening to him, but that that uh, the money don't got no money. Like I'm just saying, like if enough people would listen, like that nigga's still rich right now, bro. Like yeah, very sure. rich. So it's like I don't know. It's it's. I mean, it's I interesting. Think like rappers, real real niggas was listening to Beastie Boys in the seventies and eighties. Real niggas was listening to M late nineties, early two thousands. Real niggas was listening to Mac, and yeah. like even a lot. Yeah. I don't even say real niggas. A lot of people, a lot of us gave Macklemore a chance back in like twenty twelve for a little bit. ASAP Rockman Underground, like for a long ass time. That's that's my nigga. One of my my favorite white rappers. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Mac Mac Millie carried that for me after the. 2010s, mm-hmm. man, rest in peace. Like, boy, that's yeah. crazy. You was cheap carrying that torch. Oof. He was wild. He knew how to, he knew how to, like, he knew he just had his own style, bro. Yeah. He just knew how to use it so good. Mm-hmm. He was like, he was a trendsetter. Yeah. In a space where it's hard to be that. In a space where it's super hard to be that. Like, he taught Vince Staples so much stuff, bro. Like, he taught Vince Staples how to use the computer. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> he taught Vince Staples be like, away. how to fucking engineer, how to mix, how to do all that. Like, that's how Vince Staples knows how to do that stuff. And, like, he probably taught Earl some stuff, too. And, like, and you know, man. You know what? I think that's a good example of why. It's, I guess it's hard for me to pay much mind to something like this Ian thing. And no, like, knock on him. He could be as good about whatever. But, like, Mac is what it looks like when you're kind of make, uh, immersing yourself in a culture, right? And, like, again, like, you're talking about ways that he's helped. He's helped people in the space. Like, again, yeah, Vince, Vince talks a lot, like you said, about how, like, he doesn't end up where he's at without Mac. And, like, everybody from that OF, like, kind of crew, like, can kind of speak to it. Versus hmm. somebody here is like, oh, Yachty took the bag to get on your song. And you kind of just using him for your come up. Like, it's just those are two very different. You know what I mean? Just like how you yeah, for sure, for culture sure. is, is a really important thing. Yeah. Like, I think Max, the exemplary, the exemplar of yeah. like, what that shit look like, honestly. Like, even more than him, I think. Even yeah, because like, like, Ian is the first track. Say it again. No, like Ian is like the fast track. Like Mac Miller was really like a real MC. Like he really had a real come up. He really had CDs and stores on his come up, like in his early rise. Like he was really slaying CDs. He was really like getting his name out there, doing merch, doing all that. Like he was he he was like he, he had that Bay Area so that's how he had that he had that character development. So by the time he did get into the game, he was already so soaked into everything. He was already doing shows. He was already doing all that before he got like super famous. So it was just like he was so used to everything already. Like it's kind of like he was meant for this shit, bro. Like you know how Lil Wayne. Sometimes it feels like Lil Wayne was really just meant to be a rapper. That's like how Mac Miller. It's was, a few bro. people like that. He was too. just meant yeah. to be a rapper. He was just meant to be in that life. Like yeah. that's what he. That's what he was. I respect that so much, bro. Oh, well, it was like that currency. Currency is another man. one of those. Yeah. Just like rappers who just like through that era and just Devin the dude. Yeah. There's some people who are just like just 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 this what they belong. Where they belong. Shout out to currency, man. Shoo. It's been a minute. Well, do you want to talk about what Tyler had to say about Ian? Yeah, why is Tyler acting like he but Tyler's not, not the one? When to say this, bro? Like, little baby should have said that. Like, why is he trying to rap like me? Why is he not like this? Like, I think it's like, more Tyler about Tyler saying that Tyler he's basically res- a culture vulture. Like, what? Tyler respect. I think Tyler grew to a point where he. I think Tyler always respected music and culture in general. He made a video of him eating a cockroach to be crazy and get a whole bunch of views and, like, just be weird in the video. Like, he did that. Like, bro, how is he going to talk about somebody doing something for clout? 
I don't think he's talking about him doing it for Cloud. I think he just has a problem with how it's kind of feels like it's mockery of the culture. Of Hobson it. made a whole song about how Tyler the Creator is a mockery of the culture. Too. Yes, and I that's like why he broke I broke that down way better than Tyler the Creator can break down how he. I agree. But I mean, I I do feel it. I feel what y'all are yeah. saying. I don't get me wrong, though. I like just I understand. Like Tyler shouldn't be I just feel like Tyler shouldn't be the one to say this, bro. I kind of I feel like that too, kind of just because a lot of the Tyler's early career gets swept under the rug. But sure. people forget, yeah, like, bro, he awesome. if he was like seventeen back then, but like it was always like the thing. Tyler was always older than everybody, so like Tyler was like twenty one, like on Yonkers and shit, and just like just not even Yonkers, but like just what. He was rapping about at that time is i don't know and Wait, just like, and it? the way that he portrayed himself like <sighs> yeah so like i don't want to say yeah, yeah. he's the last one he's the last yeah. one to say something in my opinion like come mm. on man you tell the creator don't don't act like you like some so, you look like the the gatekeeper of street rap you're not i'm just gonna throw this out there because i was like and maybe i just need to work on this like so it just it don't feel different that he's white and one of them's white and one of them's black because that's just that's a big difference for me at the end of the day. I don't know. It, it, it no, pays, it that's pays. what I didn't want to say. It's like that's the thing. I'm not really saying what I'm saying. The reason why it's weird for Tyler to say that's it is because Tyler, that if Tyler, I think it does mean he used can, to want to yeah. be. It, it could come off that Tyler used to want to be white, and it was, I don't know, mm-hmm. bro. Like he like. I feel like he's came to a he's place where he appreciates his blackness, like just like getting older. But like at the beginning of his career, bro, it was like it's kind of like he had a whole like alter ego of himself that was like a white ginger, like that type. Like, like you just proved my yes, bro. You, you just said it so good. How are you gonna bag somebody for trying to be black when you was trying to be white? Because like that's basically what it comes to. Power work, though. I think that's where I struggle. Is like Tyler's gonna enter that space. And there's going to be, as much as like it worked for him, there's still going to be hurdles in that space just because you're a black person moving in white spaces. And the way it's worked the other way consistently, especially in hip hop, is like because the people that control where it goes are the people with the money. It's like, yeah, if you're a white person that entered into that space, you're going to see success more than like, you're going to see, like, again, like there's going to be some niggas talking. Like, we're going to, like, us, even the conversation we're having now, or like what niggas are saying on Twitter, or even like Tyler responding to this nigga, but that's not going to affect the success of the thing, I guess, in a way that just. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. When you're a black person going in, when you're yeah, any person, no. go, when you're any person of color going into white spaces, like, you're going to, yeah, there's just hurdles you're going to have to deal with that a white person coming into your space isn't going to deal with. Yeah, basically, yeah, Tyler, as a shit, Tyler, if anything, Tyler wanting to be or Tyler with that act at the beginning of his career, that kind of that in a way made it harder for him to even get on. Like, it's just, yeah, it's not the same. Oh, there's no like too white for the black kids or too black for the white kids and too white for the blacks. Like as much as like that's like whatever and whatever we do, like that is a legitimate thing that as a person that exists in the space, so long that you have to. That you have to kind of wrestle with that that dude doesn't have to you know what i mean yeah yeah uh that picture of ian is hella funny on the screen i ain't gonna cap <laughs> what is that what does it change like what is he signed to ot7 it looked like okay y'all ready y'all ready for the ian wave bro what I, it, y'all ready for him to beat tyler up i don't see it last until what if he long. beats tyler up on video he goes up to Tyler. Hey Tyler, what's all that shit you were saying? Tyler's like, what? Da, 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 da. And like, bah, bah, bah. He don't strike me as that. T- you know, honestly, Ian is the worst one. Have you seen the white drill dude? The one who be doing the drill music? Not Slim Jesus. No, not Slim Jesus. The new one, bro. That's the one I don't. That's the one I really don't fuck with. Um, I don't know his name, bro. But if you all y'all on TikTok, know who I'm talking about, bro. I'm in Slim Jesus. Slim Jesus was the first, what is bro. He from Frank Black. I got loud pack. I got school buses. I got loud pack. I got school bus. I just see him right now. I have picture of the whole thing right now, bro. He a real one. He's still rapping. Mmm. He a real one, bro. He survived, bro. He survived. He survived. I like how he admitted that he wasn't um wasn't like that. Nah, he damn near fucked up, huh? He shouldn't have did that. I think he felt like he had to do that. I think that they would. I think uh, that time, bro. That was too much. You don't like, think you know niggas was on? That bro. was he was doing too much. Like yeah. he was saying too. Like he bro, was saying way too much shit, was, bro. And I feel like 
that was just way too early. But I feel like he had he probably had people pressing him bro. I know he had some people pressing him right. It was too yeah, it was too much. Was Academics too- was probably talking about him at that time, bro, making all these niggas mad. Like uh, yeah, man. he for sure probably he he had to do that, bro. I f- um he shouldn't have rapped. <laughs> he shouldn't have rapped. He should have rapped different. He should have did what y'all like. That's that's somebody I understand what y'all talking about. When you're like, bro, all right, what you doing? Like, that's doing too. You rapping too, too extra. Like, you too extra. Like, there's rapping and then there's like pretending you from a whole thing and yeah. pretending you really got like these fake ops and like <laughs> like that's crazy, right? Like that's like storytelling on a different level though. <laughs> like that's wild. Like just go write stories for real. It's, yeah. like, it's no rap. Just go write stories. Jesus Christ. We done with Ian? Y'all done uh, torturing him and scorching him and yeah, roasting yeah. him? I ain't heard his music. He probably fine. It's just... What they kick him off the wall? You're not going to be listening to Ian in two years, bro. You're not going to be listening to Ian in one year. That's fucked up. That's, I'm talking about you. Oh, I'm not even... I only heard one song by him, bro. I'm going to keep it a book. It's a reason for that. It's a lot of more. It's a lot more talent out there. I'm scared to hear more songs by him. They all gonna sound like that. Everything I've heard sounds exactly like that. I'm scared to hear more songs by him, bro. I feel like he might not sound nice on the other ones. I'm scared. I don't, don't want to hear him say some out of pocket shit that I don't want. Like, oh. He doesn't, bro. That's the one thing about him, bro. He says straight like he. What you what you heard in that song, bro, is what you're gonna hear. I don't want to hear like put my dick in the black ditch. Like I don't like, want to no, hear like a, a bar like that ever come. He out. wouldn't. Yeah, he's not even the type to walk the line like that. He keeps it very. That's why I say he's like a preset rapper, bro. Like it's very generic. Like, like in every song that I've heard is like that. It's just like it's nothing crazy, nothing outlandish. It's just heavy auto tune and just flowing like little baby, but not really saying anything. Yeah, not really. There's not really any context to that. Yeah, bro. and mm-hmm. but I like it, bro. What he cake him up blowing with no project? <laughs> I'm just praying I make it to Friday. And then 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 on God, I don't play by name once. First thing in the morning, playing. Head straight out the porch, and I jump on the porch. Ooh, nobody ever said that bar, bro. Jump off the porch, <laughs> straight to the porch. Somebody's definitely set that bar. Oh, yeah. Somebody's definitely got to say that one. <laughs> Everything he says sounds like somebody has said, bro. It sounds like a whole bunch of bars chopped up together. Oh, oh God. I'm going to play by name. Wince. Oh, we forgot about Jack Harlow, bro. That was the other. Oh, other, we other did forget about it. All right, never mind. No, I take back everything I said. They <laughs> just had Jack Harlow, bro. Yeah. That was bro. He and Russ. Russ. Russ not industry plant though. Russ, Russ, Russ is like I think he got he got a lot. Of, I don't know his ties, but like he put a lot of money into his music. I'm like okay. he was picking on somebody one time, bro. Russ. Uh the that was like when he what the Zans are stupid. He wore like a shirt that said Zans are stupid, like in that in that SoundCloud era. Everybody, all the underground rappers was mad at him. No, that's when he beef with um Adam. Adam and but who was it? Little Pump or some shit. Well, that's bro. what I was talking about when he would be from Little yeah, Pump. Yeah, he was bullying yeah. Little Pump, bro. That's fucked up. Uh, then he beat Little Pump up. Oh, I think his security. He beat him his up, security, right? He yeah, beat bro. Little Pump up. That nigga that's Russ has some African security guards. <laughs> that's messed up, right? He beat Little Pump up. Hey, who beat up? Who got beat up by the Migos? Remember when Santasio? Wait. Uh, yeah. uh, Tentacio uh, got beat up by a takeoff. Did he? Yeah. Wait, right? what? Like, yeah. And then they was like, man, y'all hella old. He's like, y'all hella old. I think they jumped him or something like that. Really? And Tentacio, yeah, he got he got on video, bro. It's on video. He was hella mad. It was like right after he got jumped. And he was like, y'all didn't even give me that good. And y'all hella old and this and that. <laughs> I was like, he really thumped it out with him. That's that with them. That's hella funny. <laughs> and then he was like, he was he was like he was saying takeoff's name. He was like calling them blast off. That shit was hella funny, bro. That whole video, that whole thing was hella funny. But they really squabbled it out. That's just that's just funny, bro. Hmm. Is that it? I forgot about that one. I think Mikey's playing it. Hmm. I've never seen this before. 
Hey, Tentacio used to squad with bro. Like, he's funny. He was funny, man. Rest in peace. Huh. Did not know this happened. Stay fucking. Or did he get into it with a security or something? I don't know what it was. This might even be a separate. Yeah. I just know he went like on selfie mode in a video. He was like, he was like, uh, he was saying, uh, he just got jumped by that. He's like, oh, fucking blast off. <laughs> He's like, old ass thing. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, taste. Yeah, damn. Damn. You got light, like, bro. Oh, you got yeah, you got Man, first thing in the morning, blunt. I ain't gonna ever listen to another Ian song. I'm telling you, bro, that's the one for me. <laughs> Just gotta find one. What's the, what's, what's the, uh, Y'all heard J-Bo new I need to get on this, bro. What's it called? Uh, the Reaper. The Reaper. Uh, yeah, the Reaper. From behind, boy. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. It's like, it's like one of them where you just don't feel like skipping nothing, bro. I feel How much uh, songs? Like 20, 20, oh, 20. A few of them was already out. Uh, a few of them was already out. It's just crazy seeing somebody put out an album like this, man. Like why they why they locked up, no promotion, mm. no nothing. And he's still like he still put he's still doing numbers. Like it's crazy, man. You know how hard it is to get people to listen to your music without seeing your face? Like that's yeah. so hard. No mm -hmm. video, no live video, no nothing. Like that's wild, man. And to not even like be established by the time you get locked up and that happens, like when Chief Keep didn't Chief Keep the locked up one time, but he was already kind of famous. So yeah. like that shit damn near like it didn't work. I won't say it worked out for him, but like yeah. it played into the favor of his music career in yeah. a in a way mm -hmm. where everybody was just hella anticipating him to come out. Like, mm -hmm. bro, like I feel like J Bo was not fully there yet to where he's able to just like be gone for a year and have everybody hella antsy. I feel like he might be losing a little traction, if anything. Yeah, but that's shit. If you keep dropping, you ain't gonna lose traction. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Having the music, like having the music, bro, it's just losing traction as in not gaining as much yeah, as you would gain, gain if yeah. you're out. That's if like just it. yeah, just being not being able to shoot a video to most of these songs, probably that's that's where it really hurts too. Like probably I don't know, you missing out just like on a couple probably like a whole million if you like all the like a lot of these songs that are probably at like seven hundred K, which is crazy to do independent already. One of those songs with a video would probably be at a million just because yeah. it's a visual and yeah. it gets pushed more. <clears throat> exactly. Posted on Instagram and shit. Like, mm -hmm. Having lives of him like listening to the yeah. songs, previewing these songs. Just mm -hmm. yeah, that's how. It, like, bro, young boy be getting millions of views just off his leaks of him yeah. just smoking in the car, listening mm -hmm. to this shit. Like, it's it's man, it's right there for J. Bo. I, I feel it. It's right there for him. I feel like he the biggest he the biggest artist out of California for like. Minute, bro. I can't remember somebody out of California this big. What is it? Is it Mozzie? Probably the Mozzie, last right? one. Like, probably like the last. I got Mozzie up there too. Yeah, man. Mozzie. Mozzie's a legend down there. That Mozzie, that Mozzie era, bro. That was a crazy run. And he's still going, bro. It's wild. It's wild to see. He like a dawn now at this point, though, the way he's playing his career. Yeah. Like, yeah, I see how he's playing it. I like, I like it. Mozzie, that's it. Jay Stalin kind of still doing that too. Yeah. I think we forgetting about somebody. Nah, bro. I like Roddy. Roddy Rich, right? He blew up hella, but he didn't like Roddy. Bro, he he had like, the like he like he he did blow up. Like that's probably the biggest. I can't think. I of think another J that, I can't artist. compare it because I think Jabo's independent still, right? No, I think he signed. To, uh, Is he signed? Epic. Oh, uh, I don't know who he signed to. I think he signed though. I think he has a distro. He might have a distro. Yeah, yeah. A distro. I think Roddy. Yeah. Roddy was he got in the industry and for like in a way that a NorCal artist wouldn't be yeah. able to get in the industry. I he signed like. a QC, right? Yeah, I think so. That's why you got the that. people think he's from Atlanta. IAG. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's for tour. No, mm -hmm. with a distro. Not, that's not for music. That's for tour. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I I don't know. I just got J Bo up there, man. I feel like. I feel like nobody really coming like this in a long time. The views with the consistency with the non skippable tracks on the album type, like, bro, this has been a minute. Dropping a 20 song album in general. Yeah. A lot of people doing that. Yeah, it's been a minute.
Mozzie really do feel like the last one. Yeah. Yeah, y'all should listen to that though. Y'all need to listen to that. Everybody need to listen to that. The Reaper. Sorry about you Yeah. You that. Come on in. We on fellas. Uh, what else we got? Um, whatever y'all want to hit, how's uh, how's Black House Beta? J Badge, uh, uh, Black Ops 6 Beta. Um, I don't like it, <laughs> but I'm known to be a hater, so I don't know. There is stuff that I do like about the game, or it's a couple things I like. Is I like the time, the TTK is perfect which kind of is enough to keep me on the game for a little bit. But still, I find myself getting bored just playing the game by, like, my fourth and fifth game. <laughs> and that's even – that's playing, like, having good games, bad games. Like, yeah. like I'm not even judging it like this. I don't, like, bro, I dropped 50 kills, like, yesterday. And then – but still, it's just, like, I don't know, bro. It's just – I don't like the movement. The movement just feels clunky kind of, uh, and they added the new Omni movement, and I feel like you can't really appreciate the Omni movement because your standard movement feels clunkier than ever, like, then, like, even Modern Warfare 3, no matter how much I don't like that game, like, even the movement on that game is smoother than this. It just feels, feels like you want quick scan, quicksand kind of, bro. It's just like, mm. I don't know if that's just them making the character slower, which I wouldn't have a problem with, but it's just, like, how it feels. It feels like there's, like, a slight delay. Mm excuse me it feels like there's a slight delay like when you um like going to sprinting like kind of and it's i don't know bro it just don't give you a it is it doesn't feel like a black ops game to me yeah. but like oh it's cool bro it's 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 cool but it just i just feel like treyarch and infinity award now bro like you know how like you could see modern warfare 2 og modern warfare 2 and black ops 1 and like like you could see the difference in those games. Like you could look at them and sell like two different studios made these games, and they're both dope. Like, but like now I feel like they all look like they're running on the same engine. Like this game, yeah. like is is like one of the maps on the beta, bro. It literally just feels like one of the Modern Warfare Three maps, like uh, that we was just playing like on ranked. And it's just I don't know, bro. I just feel like it. it it makes me say, like, what's the point of even having multiple studios now if you're just going to all be running on the same engine? Like, mm. the games don't feel like, like, they don't feel like, the creators don't feel like they have their own identity anymore. And I don't know, bro. It just don't feel like a Black Ops game. It just feels like a, like, a unmodern warfare just because it's, it's in a different time frame. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a 2K year, man. 2K. Hey, it's going to be here. a lot of Call of Duty for 2K25. me. 2K25. It's our time. It's our time to shine, bro. Yeah. Time, time. I feel it. I feel it in my soul. Okay, what gets right to me? Oh, mm. it's time. It's time, bro. I'm gonna be shooting guard. I'm gonna be six. I'm gonna be six six, bro. I need to. I need to six, use. Six. I need Aren't to you use, usually six six? I was six seven, and I couldn't. You use did six Kyrie seven. Shot. Ah, yeah. I think if I'm six six, I'll be able to use Kyrie. It might, it might be six five though. I hope Bro, if it's I not. gotta be six five, then I'm gonna be six five guard. Yeah, sure, bro. yeah you can get away with six five, six. Uh, I don't know what I'm about to be. I don't know what I'm about to be. Six. We yeah, gotta figure out. You making a guard again? Yeah, I'm doing point guard. I just don't know if I'm gonna be like. I might do. A lot of people are saying the shorter guards are gonna be like it this year, but I don't know, bro. You see a lot of stuff that Luca can do and just. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just finding that. I might just go six four six five. Mm. Like, the one, the one you finished with this year was six five, right? Yeah, that was a six five build. Yeah. I like that build. I just the only thing I did wrong when I didn't make my ball handle high enough. But like now, I know that going into next year, have a higher or a highest handle as possible. Yeah. yeah. Right, you're. I'm ready for this one. Well, we here. I feel it. I feel that we finna get pro and right. We finna do these pro and teams. All right. I think it's. That. I mean, we get the pro. On, I, I think. The, come on, man. No, it's because people are talking about rank this year. Or most people, oh, yeah, the yeah, cops yeah, gonna yeah, be in the yeah, rank yeah, this yeah, year. Rank. Okay, pro am. Oh, I just don't know if we got five consistently enough to make pro am the main main. Or I guess pro am threes. 
Uh, Pro Am threes. Well, I, I mean, know. Pro Am threes just felt the jumpers felt weird. This yeah, this if they year. fix that shit, yeah, that's the only reason they didn't play Pro Am this year is because yeah. the shot, the shot release was literally different, and nobody could find like where the point, where the release point was. Like it was, I don't know, it was bugged out. But if it, if they fix it, I don't got a problem with it. But I feel like, mm-hmm. bro, if they got ranked, ranked is the and don't you get extra XP for rank two, or yeah. it's like you get a little more than yeah. that. And it builds like the yeah, higher up you rank, the more, that's it, the more yeah. it pays out. It'll be interesting. I mean, that's gonna be an interesting. Thing. And we go ahead. And we get like some type of uh, like it shows us, like it shows our rank by our character, bro. That's yeah. so it's like we get to flex our status. You feel me? I think that's in. What are yeah. the, uh, Let's pull up the what are the five ranks? Oh, oh is it only yeah, five of them. Second, yeah, I got you. Uh, I see two K, bro. Nothing. They did this for us, bro. Uh, this our year, bro. Y'all don't even understand how happy I am, bro. I ain't been on 2K in a minute. I'm finna be on 2K this year. It's been like years, bro. bro. That's the last time. And we was way too nice to, for you to not be on it in years and still be able to end 2K24 like this. That's when uh, that's why I was like, like, yeah, bro, we got to play next year for sure. All right, how much ranks we got? We got bronze, silver, gold. Platinum. What's that say? Platinum. Diamond. Diamonds. And then they got top ten, I think. Out of once you get to diamond, you can try to push for top ten. I think everyone, yeah, everyone. I'm gonna fuck y'all niggas. Uh, mm-hmm. we, 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 we to the top, we bro. To, yeah, top, we to the top. Hey, so then just bro, real niggas real ain't ready for a rank. Okay, bro. 10, Go ahead. At gold, you get ten percent red bonus, one hundred VC win bo- uh, for every hundred VC bonus for every win. Platinum, you get twenty five percent red bonus, two fifty bonus for every win. You get to dine. Oh, this one. Fifty percent red bonus, five hundred extra VC. Yeah, five hundred. Yeah, this where. Uh, yeah, this where people about to be at. God. Multiple bills. Oh boy, bro! You know how much scrubs we about to beat at the beginning, bro. It's, I feel like going. I don't know, bro. We gotta beat That's her honestly, Friday. Bro. The dopest yeah. part of proven grounds, I think, is that. I think I'm hoping, like, compared to some shit like theater or like prom, it's like, oh. You're not gonna get like you ain't gonna be a whole bunch of bronze niggas going up against a whole bunch of diamond niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how you can get mm-hmm. it now a little bit where you kind of you play a few games against whack niggas and you play the demons. Like after like two or three games, it seems like it seems like you're gonna yeah. be matched up with people at your yeah. level most of the time, which I feel like is gonna make the grind a little, sure. a little nicer yeah. to go through. Yeah. I think they should maybe make bronze and silver be able to play against each other. But once it hits, oh, I think, well, silver yeah. and gold, I think silver and gold players can play together. But the thing but is, once it gets to that platinum. When you do, when you, when, usually when you, um, the good, the good rank I like, like say you silver mm-hmm. and you usually play silver or gold. When you're about to get promoted, you'll start playing platinum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unless it's like, That's unless it's like a point. Describing it too. Yeah. Go ahead. Bro. Okay. Okay. Cool. No, because uh, is it like a point system or are they just going to promote you whenever they promote you? You know, two K, yeah. bro. They be keeping that sh- that type of detail close to the vest. I yeah. kind of need to know that though. Like, how are they gonna be judging? Or we gonna have to see, like, when we play, who gets like. Like you know, right now we do the silver thing, and yeah. we have that meter, but we get to see which where we at. I wonder yeah. if it's still gonna uh, be like that. So let's play well. But we get to know exactly when we get promoted. My fault. Nah, UG, play well and move up, but play poorly and you may drop a tier. The amount of progress you make is based on your level of play and the strength of your opponent. And matchmaking and proven ground prioritizes pitting you against other players who are in a similar tier and team structure like as you to ensure more balanced and competitive play. Makes it sound like they're going to try to avoid squads versus no squads too, which would be yeah. nice. Ah, uh, that makes sense. What scares me about that is I didn't hear anything about rewarding for winning. Yeah. Yeah, you know the better rewards are for better teams. The better teams we beat, beat the more, uh, yeah. okay. the more, the more they'll yeah reward that mm. towards points. Okay, yeah, it's about to be the most. This might be the one, but yeah, it's yeah, gonna this be an interesting thing about this game because there's like there's a lot of ways to engage in it. I guess so. Like, we were talking about park might be dead this year just because it seems like there's way up, there's yeah. way too many other ways to play to play the game actually. But we'll see. Yeah. Look at Jordan in the vape. That's crazy. How tall, how tall was your build last year, Steve? Six seven. You six? Yeah. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, six seven. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you look six six. Huh? Yeah, yeah I'm six seven. Six, six. Six. Yeah. I just I can't dunk. I feel like the six six is a move or six seven again. 
I'm, which you all want to see because I feel like you usually go OP on the shooting. So I want to see if you go far enough to unlock the legend badges. I want to see what those look like this year, actually. Yeah, that ass. Because the now, you know, you I'm saw here. we got Hall of Fame. We got we got five levels of badges now. Five is that right? Yeah. That fifth one, though. We haven't seen it. Like, nobody's got to use a legend badge yet in any of the gameplay we got. So, I really want to see how OP. Like, what is legend like? Catch and shoot or whatever. Like, set shooter. Like, how good is that shit, actually? Yeah. We got to get it early, bro, before everybody else start getting so it, bro. We're going to grind Wednesday and Thursday and then get to the park on Friday. I think that's the move. Like, at least get to ring by Friday. Maybe we can play some public on, like, Thursday mm -hmm. just to fill out where we at before we jump right into rank. Also want to get into ranked early enough to get on the scrubs to mm -hmm. fly through these first two ranks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, there. I got the VC. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. The VC up, like, as we all going to be close to, like, 80s, at least at the beginning. It might not be too bad to hop on. Hop on yeah, online that, yeah. shit early. I say probably avoid the rank. Play the puck on low once they watch. I know. Play on the rank. I play off rank until the rank feel good. Until you feel like you're ready for rank. That could happen all in one day, you know. You know. Yeah. So it's Wednesday morning. Wednesday yeah. Morning, five a.m. Five oh, a.m. I'm on here. So I right. have PC get this shit get this shit at 9 p.m. on on Tuesday for some reason. That's not cool, bro. Why didn't they drop this on Monday? I know like, it makes so it much sense, right? Just did our Sunday like a Memorial Day drop. I feel like that first week of September they just kind of wonder if it's NBA. NBA kind of makes them do first weekend in September's release date because it's usually that one every year. Yeah. They game would crash, bro. If they did it on the holiday weekend. It would already yeah, be too much people. Yeah. All the kids not in school, bro. Everybody on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should have crashed for sure. <laughs> that should have crashed. <laughs> okay, uh, season. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get there this year. Diamond or diamond or bus. Follow my gaming channel, Casual Gamer Forty Seven. Keep up with the squad. Yeah. That part. Where we, we at? Where we on? What's next? What else y'all got? What else y'all got? We hit everything down near right. Football season. Yeah. By the time we come back, football season gonna be. We gonna be talking about the games that was happening while we recording. Any any thoughts? Real. What's quick? the predictions? What's the predictions? Who's gonna make it to the Super Bowl? I am not locked in. Somebody said. Somebody said Lions Chiefs when I was uh, out there the other day, and that sounded like it made some sense. Niners, she's probably make more sense. I got two. I don't know, man. It's a it's a crazy season. It's actually a very interesting like how NBA been. That's how NFL just got right now. Like, well, how y'all looking? It's real swell. We don't got no quarterback, bro. We got Aiden O'Connell. We got uh Minshew. Like, we we about to start O'Connell, but man. Y'all see Ricky Pearsall, the Niners uh, wide receiver, uh, just got shot yesterday. They just Whoa. drafted him. Did not hear Whoa. that. He just got shot yesterday. He alive? Well, he got he got stuck up. Damn. Yeah. Where at? I don't know. I don't know. I think they caught the dude and everything already, though. Mm -hmm. It happened to Ricky Pearsall. Yep. That's wild. Sheesh. That's crazy. I'm trying to think who's gonna make the play the Super Bowl. Out of the hospital, at least. Got shot in the chest? Damn. Ooh, that's rough. Damn. What? That's rough. Uh, he got released, though? Yeah, he out. They said he out, which is crazy after getting shot in the chest. Like yeah. a day ago, it seemed like. Buff ass, steroid ass motherfucker. Seems to be on something different. Uh, what are we looking at? What they got? What they got your Raiders? Yo, Raiders, I don't even see AFC West. There we go. Plus 1,000 to win the division. It's not too bad. Man, that's terrible. Third. They got the they got the Broncos below, y'all. Jesus. At least. Who favorites? I'm trying to think. Who's standing out? People really, oh, I forgot Aaron Rodgers. You think Aaron Rodgers going to play actually this year? I don't know, man. I really don't. All the all the gambling sites got the Jets winning the division over the Bills, which makes it seem like they think he gonna be real. 
Yeah, I mean he he's I legit. Know. I know, I know uh, he's nice. I just he old man. He got a season in him for real. He's got it. Yeah, no, he's still got it. Um, he's way better than Josh Allen. I don't give a fuck. Um, oh yeah, I give you. I give you that. Uh, um, fuck. I don't want to say Chiefs, bro. I know it's mm. so annoying, man. I saw, who else do you pick? Ravens can't stay healthy. Bengals can't stay healthy. Maybe it's a what's what's got, this game, bro? For Texas, or for the Texans, he had a good year. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's his time to shine. CJ, I don't know. Nah, not yet. Yeah, it doesn't not feel yet. like his time. That's like feel like real hopeful. I don't think he there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, really see it. The hipster thing to say would be to say the Chargers. I think the Chargers is the most overhyped team, and I'm tired of people. They've been overhyping them for like three years, saying they're supposed to make the Super Bowl. <laughs> they're acting like every time it's the first time they're saying this shit. It's not. You know, keep saying that Herbert's going to make the Super Bowl. Herbert's nice, but so is Phillip Rivers. He um, stay healthy either. Uh, yeah, I'm just. I so got. Cool. You know what? We're going with the Ravens. I, see I think the Ravens will make it happen. I see you. It's Lamar's lead. It's Lamar's year finally. Yeah, I think it's Lamar's year. That's my hipster pick. I think the Ravens gonna make it. I like it. Ravens Niners. They gonna rematch. Oh, I see you. Niners that's, gonna go that's my head. Gonna have to relive all the L's they took in the last decade in the Super Bowl. I respect it. Mm, that's my hipster pick. Let's go. I like that, bro. It's a good story. It's a good mm-hmm. Niners story. Shanahan goes to go redeem. Wait, is it because this is the first, first one he lost to the Chiefs, right? Or was that the first time? That was the second, second time. Day, he's owned yeah. two in the Super Bowl. Say it again. Shanahan's owned two in the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, for the Niners, he's owned three if you count that. that oh, uh, three, yeah, for the <laughs> yeah, shit, right? yeah, for the Niners. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I had somebody. I was talking to somebody randomly the other day. and said they just they should they should hire like Belichick to coach the team in the playoffs and just let Shanahan coach some niggas during that's the regular season. Fucking hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. Stop. Mm. Uh, shit. He gets y'all there. <laughs> ah man. All right. Yeah. So Ravens, Ravens, Niners. That's my hipster beat. Who won last year again? Chiefs. The Chiefs won. They the Chiefs. Win. Yeah, they won again. They beat. Um, oh, they, they beat, beat us. Them. They beat the Niners. Yeah, they beat the Niners. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's just yeah. Shanahan yeah. relives that. Wow. Now, and then you make Niners fans relive that Baltimore. I made money on that. From like yeah. 2012. Yeah. Uh, I made good money. That's why it's hard to pick against Pat and the Chiefs because, like, they weren't supposed to be that. Like, they weren't good. Last, not gonna say they weren't good, but like. Compared they were to as good as squads have been, like when they yeah. ran deep, like this team, exactly. like that shit had to come together, like kind of by magic. Almost felt like the twenty twenty two Warriors versus like the the KD era run Warriors. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's, I feel it. If they can 100%. still win when that shit happens, how do you beat these dudes? How do you they beat this underdogs dude, though? Exactly. Crazy. It was the underdogs, and I was like, nah, they already beat the Niners. They already used to this. It's the Chiefs. It's the Taylor Swift era. Mm-hmm. Tell this was when Taylor Swift oh, was on the camera every second. I was like, like, nah, the Chiefs is winning this, bro. Taylor Swift, I, I dumped on the, I dumped on the Chiefs. Oh man, wow, what a time! <laughs> it's gonna be like that again, y'all. Y'all, NFL season is fun when that shit comes around, man. It is. It is. Got something to pay attention. We sleeping on that. Yeah, and it's coming back Sunday. It's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be two K and football. Is there a game Thursday? Is, is yes, it like sir. Chiefs Ravens Thursday or something like that? Who is who's playing Thursday? No, I don't think it's that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that was a preseason thing. Let me see. Actually, I think it's like Texans, right? Uh, nah, yeah, Ravens Chiefs Thursday. Hey, let's go in Kansas City. That should be fun. What's the odds on that? Is it the same? Uh, I can pull it up. How you good? You got it. Um, so y'all, y'all ain't got no Super Bowl predictions? Chiefs. I said, I said. Nah, Niners. I'm gonna, I forgot. They gonna take it? Niners gonna take it. Bro. Over the Chiefs? Nah, uh, see, I, I wouldn't want them to rematch the Chiefs because I think I don't know much about football, but 
Hey man, Mahomes is good, ain't he? Like, yeah, he's, he's real. Really, he's, he's really like, he's the truth. He that nigga. He is the truth. Yeah, he's a new Brady, but he might be better. I was actually stressing watching the last Super Bowl, bro. I actually watched that whole game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real really nice. See, it happened. I just, they hit a point in that game where I just couldn't stop laughing because, like, oh, this nigga's gonna do this again somehow, some way. Yep. Um, minus three, uh, Chiefs. Yeah. Over under is 46 and a half. Money line is minus 151 for the Chiefs, plus 127 for the Ravens. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, let's see Oops. how it go. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Let's, let's say fucking Lions. Lions over the Chiefs. Let's, let's mix it up. Matthew, is that Matthew Stafford? That's where I like that. Right no, or is that the other one? What's the nigga? John? I like that. What's the one? Who did Matthew Stafford get traded for? What's what's that white boy's name? Um, like, what's his face? He had a good uh, year last year. I don't um, know where. Yeah. He was the um, Rams. He was the Rams. Fuck, what's his name? What's that dude's name? I see his face. So not Gafford, right? I no, it's not Gafford. Ah. I forgot his name. Jared Goff. God, I Jared Goff. Over here. Maybe I need to re. Good. I need to re. Uh, I need to like re redo my brain. Yeah. On the football, man. Why am I so out of tune right now? Saying this is really the downside of Madden kind of being trash now. Is that's really how you can stay up with like sports is through the video game shit. Yeah. I definitely just discover some random person that played in the NBA last year I'd never seen play before because he has a shot in 2K25. It's the only, yeah. reason, the only reason I looked up. It's like, oh, this is a G League that played like a solid like 10, 20 games last year. No idea who he was. But yeah, I'm going hey, to. Hey, it worked out both ways. The trade worked out both ways. Jared Goff redemption story complete. We just got saw chapter one last year. This is this is chapter two. Right? Yep. Stafford got them that ring. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, so you got a prediction, Mike? Super Bowl for yeah, you in this it. bitch. Lion, Lions over Chiefs. That's, that's that's me. I'm picking golf. Golf to do it. All right. Y'all heard it. Lions, Chiefs, Lions, Niners, Chiefs. But who you got winning? Lions over Chiefs. I'm giving it to Lions over Chiefs. Lions over Chiefs. Okay, okay. Mahomes my fault. Lions over Chiefs. Brady loses. Brady, you know, lost every now and then. Like Mahomes got to lose sometimes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Lions over Chiefs. Niners over Chiefs. And I, I got Ravens. Niners. I don't know who's gonna win. I don't know. Ravens. Mm -hmm. This is Lamar's year. Lamar's year. I like Shanahan's that. gonna go down like this in history. Losing Super Bowls. Feel bad for my guy. Uh, All right, we done. I think we. Oh, y'all got some. Ain't nothing. Man. Yeah. Hoop, hoop not back yet for real. We got some time to that. UFC like yeah, two we weeks gonna... away from a pay per view, right? So we really ain't got. Yeah. I feel like Cannonier Cannonier fought recently or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. He so, lost the. Is the next uh, one Noche oh. Night? Is that the next UFC? Um, yeah, I forgot who's fighting, though. It's the Sphere, right? No, that yeah, that's the next pay-per-view. That's on the 14th, but there's a card before that. The yeah, week before. Yeah, yeah, the card was, uh, it was a name. Burns is fighting next week, I think. Or week before okay. next, yeah. Burns is fighting right. Sean Brady. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. This All right. Coming up. And then yeah, this Saturday coming up. Then I'll match yep. and Rob. And then I'll match the next weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a good fight. Yeah. All right. So we are gonna be back next weekend. We are gonna be back next weekend with something to talk about. Uh, we here. Oh, and Josh fight episode coming tomorrow. Okay, my or next week. My bad. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, bro. We, it's gonna be a good one. That's why we are gonna be here next week. Yeah. We are gonna be here for y'all. Mm -hmm. We gonna have it all for y'all. Yeah. We gonna ball for y'all. Stand tall for y'all. Do all for y'all. Too much podcast episode thirty. We about it. Is episode Curry. Yeah. We about it. Yeah. Is. Episode Curry. Don't understand how many bars you just brought there that Ian couldn't come up with. 